right, so this marks the beginning of the Subaru manual swap slash head gaskets because the head gaskets blew in the Subaru. So back here, I have one transmission, which is not the one that's going into it, but it had parts on it I needed. And then over here, there's another one. Which this is the transmission that's gonna go in it. It's a 411 and all the parts, pedal assembly, etc. So yeah, and we're at Ben's house again. He's the one that helped us with the um, turbo swap. And also the, um, he helped me with, oh geez, some welding on the Impreza, I think too. So yeah, we're just gonna get this all unloaded and then I'll go over parts later in the video. Well, here's all the parts organized. I have the transmission that's actually going into it, which needs to be cleaned a whole bunch. And the drive shaft, we got the diff on the bottom there, brake booster, master and slave, uh, a variety of these to pick whichever the best is, um, pedal assembly, manual transmission starter, interior boot, bracket, some bushings, And that's almost the entirety of the manual swap minus like axles, stuff like that. So now it's just a matter of getting the car here without overheating it. I'll also go over the parts that are going to be my new parts uh, when I get back to Nashua. All right, so now I'm back in Nashua and this is most of the parts that are gonna be going into the Impreza. So it's the most new parts I've ever like purchased for this car. So we're just gonna go from the top to the bottom and overview everything that I got. Some stuff is from Rock Auto. I, I think I have everything from Rock Auto, but I didn't get a delivery thing for the last box. So I don't know which is in which because some of it's like Chinese eBay parts, but yeah. There's like, what, a few more things left to come and that's it? Yeah, the timing kit hasn't gotten here yet. The um, steering rack bushings and I don't know what else, but at least those things. Magnets. What's in this one? Ooh. We could put the rest of the magnets on my fridge. That's kind of neat. Because I've got like several on the fridge already. <laughs> Uh, this was, is the, the valve stem seals, Velcro valve stem seals. Not a very good box. <laughs> Crunch. We can do what Ben is, has. He has like an entire wall of... Let's see yeah, some so seals. Valve stem seals. I don't know why there's only two of these. I don't know what those do. I'll have to look that up. But regardless, those are the valve stem seals. And we can definitely condense this into smaller boxes. So we got that. I'll keep all my receipts and stuff. That didn't do what I thought it would. <laughs> Damn. I'm, not, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Oh geez, this one's heavy. This must be, um, oh yeah, Super Parts Direct. This is gonna be the head bolts. Ooh, head bolts. They are reusable once. Mine have already been reused once, so. Yeah, the, the whole idea of reusable uh, head bolts to me is new and kind of scary. Yeah, they're reusable once. Oh yes, the typical Subaru parts box that's just a brown box with no label. All of the head bolts. Brand new. Subaru OEM. 
They didn't go with what ARP of, or what anything type of, like that. Uh, what type of salt cake goes on that? That is an excellent question. <laughs> I will figure that out when the time comes. I didn't go with ARP or anything. I just wanted to put OEM parts where I could. There's no receiving that. Neat. Oh, oh, this must be the head gaskets. Yeah, six star. Oh, right. I was thinking the head gaskets was going to be like in a long box or package. But yeah. Cut right through them. We'll have to blur out each of the shipping labels in the video. Have you shown shipping labels? Well, you can still see them. I don't know how to do that, so you're going to be editing this. You just put a blur box. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> so you, you're going to have to edit this then to your liking. Ooh, OEM Subaru exhaust gaskets. I've never had those before. <laughs> they actually look pretty decent. Oh. This actually came with the seals that I ordered. <laughs> so now I have multiple sets of front and rear main seals, which one of those is the one I was missing. So that hasn't been delivered yet. Look at that head gasket. Multi-layer steel. That's the right stuff. So this one has the exhaust gaskets on it. I didn't know this was going to come with like front and rear main seals. I'm pretty sure that's what these are. Why does it say... I don't even know. Buck. Buck. <laughs> Who's Buck? And why does he want rear main seals? Lay it out all nice. Hope there's nothing else in this. I don't know what this one is. Japan Motors. Not sure. Then, then the packaging. Hope it's not. So it has to stay upright. Oh, clutch bolts. I mean, flywheel bolts. Ooh. Wait, you can't reuse them? I don't have them. Oh, right. <laughs> it's an automatic. <laughs> right. So these are OEM flywheel bolts for a Wait, manual. Wait, so you can still use the same crank? Huh? Yeah? Why would you have to swap the crankshaft? Well, I don't know if you need to... Like, I know on That the, would be awful. <laughs> I know on some cars you actually have to put a different crankshaft nope. in it because... Yeah. You just showed the Enjoy your delicious. <laughs> you just showed the shipping label <laughs> directly. Okay, well you can figure that out. I think this is probably the shipping label. Oh yeah. I'll Ship. show part. I just got something that would look like close to stock but still be nice quality. So I got one with red lettering. You didn't want a round one. I did not. He wanted a elongated one. Mm-hmm. It's small. Is it heavy? Can this come out, please? <laughs> oh, that's that's nice to the feel. Twelve dollar shift. Mode. It's actually metal. <laughs> I'm actually surprised. This is actually nice. I like this. It's a little small, but I'm not I'm not upset about that. It's a six gear. <laughs> no, stop. R for race. It comes with all the adapters that it needs for various types of shift levers. Neat. Look at all that. Now we go into the rock auto stuff. This is probably, I would imagine, clutch. Yeah, let's see that clutch. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Goodbye. 
way. Huh? That's the rear main seal, I guess. That's large. I didn't think it was that big. I don't I don't know if that's the right one, but I also don't know anything about doing that. We got another magnet. <laughs> yes, more magnet. Actually, you know what? That kind of looks right. Crankshaft seal and flywheel. Okay, the flywheel's in here. Oh. That's why it's so heavy. Box in a box. Oh, I guess we're just gonna open this. Neat. Oh, goodness. <gasps> wow. Look at that. Brand new flywheel. I can smell it. Yeah. You don't want to touch it too much. We're going to have to brake clean it anyways. True. Oh my gosh, that's it. <laughs> just, just feel the heft on that. Ooh. How can they ship this for so cheap? <laughs> Child labor. I don't know why this box is so large, because I'm pretty sure the rest of the stuff that's in this is just clutch. Must be. So now we're going to take a look at the last box, which should have the clutch and clutch components in it. So, <laughs> so much bubble wrap. Okay, this has, I might actually have the rest of the parts in this, I'm not sure. Ooh, another magnet. <laughs> this one's got a Mazda 3 on it. Neat. Wow, X-City. Yep. Quality parts. Complete clutch kit. Just a single, ooh, clutch alignment tool. Good, it actually came with that. This is just Maybe. a single clutch, right? Yes. Neat. So we've got a new throw out bearing. Throw out bearing. I think I have two throw out bearings actually. I might have, I think I ordered another one. I and can't remember. Could always just okay. sell the spares. Instructions. Throw that away. We don't need that. Wrong. <laughs> Why is the clutch disc detached? <laughs> Somebody screwed up. <laughs> clutch disc. Actual disc here. I don't know how this opens. I think you need to cut it open. <laughs> yeah, you need to cut it open. Where'd I put it? On the freezer. Freezer. Oh. There you go. <laughs> oh, only a open on this side. I'll try not to touch it too much. And you're gonna have to touch it anyways. That's true. Look at that fresh clutch. Brand new clutch. It's so fresh. I've never seen a fresher clutch. Yeah, you're just used to the burnt 300ZX clutch that didn't actually exist by the time you were done owning it. Yeah. And this is a pressure plate. Ooh. Grease of some sort. What? Clutch bearing. I'm confused. <laughs> it's so tiny. Oh, I think it goes right in the center. Oh, is this the um is this the flywheel bearing? I'm pretty sure there's a bearing that's supposed to go in the middle of that. Maybe. You can hold it up against it and see. 
Yes, that's nice. that's that one. Okay, good. Because I was asked if they came with that, so. And since these are all going to be brand new components, by the time it all wears out, I just get a new flywheel and clutch every time. Because <laughs> it'll be like 100,000 miles, so. Yeah. This, this might be Loctite, actually. That might be what that is, because it doesn't say anything on it. Huh. Taste it. So many fun new parts. Wow. We've got the actual cover. That is the last of the parts that I have right now. So I probably won't do another video on parts. Um, so I'm gonna put this back in here just because it was a spacer. You could put some other stuff in there too. Stay separate. Alignment tool. You could put the shift knob in there too. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's everything so far, anyway. So, hmm. next video, I'll try and get some video of driving the Impreza because I do have to drive it. I'm not going to pay like $200 for a flatbed tow. Probably more than that actually. Um, so I'll get some video of driving it down to Ben's house and inventorying all the parts, making sure I've got everything. And then after that will probably be live streams. That's my goal anyways, is to live stream every day I'm working on this will probably be most days until it's done and part one will be pulling the engine out so Wee. that'll be interesting it'll be the first time I've done it by myself without another experienced Subaru guy so Eric might come down and help Ben's probably gonna help like two thousand dollars. <laughs> By the end of this, probably gonna be around two thousand dollars. But lots and lots of good parts are going into it. So six star gaskets, brand new head bolts, all that fun stuff. And for the first time in a long time, brand new exhaust gaskets. So these are like actually proper. They have like a lip on them and everything. Mm -hmm. They're not like flat. With like RTVs, these are like actual. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, if you ever need to, like, reuse them, you could. It has some heft to it. I actually really like how this looks. It was literally a $12 eBay shift knob. So. Yeah. I, I Didn't I tell you to go with red to match with Z? <coughs> red stitching? Wheel. Yeah. Which I do need to clean up the stitching on the steering wheel. Some people said just fabric cleaner and it shouldn't be too harsh on the... Um, on the leather itself so that's going to wrap it up for this video and it's probably going to be a pretty long one I did get some video at Ben's that's going to be earlier in this um, yeah so we'll pick this back up when I have the rest of the parts and hopefully this will go smoothly we'll see so that's the start of the Manual swap slash head gaskets. Head gaskets. Yup. So I'll see you guys in the next video.